Hi everyone, and welcome to episode 157 of Saranova Crafts. I'm your host, Jessica. I can be found as Saranova on Ravelry and Twitter, and as Saranova Crafts on Instagram. I'm going to try to do show notes because there's actually going to be a fair bit of stuff, um, mainly because I went to another country and came back, <laughs> and um, I haven't recorded a podcast, and I've been home for two and a half weeks. Um, Life has just been a little crazy. Um, I actually have some time this morning because what I was originally supposed to go do is now not happening so I can go to knitting, but I'm delaying going to my Tuesday knit group to record this because I realized it had been a while since, um, it had been a while since uh, I had recorded. So, um, yeah, I will, um, I'll put some pictures in at the end, um, of my Israel trip with some, like, captions saying what stuff is. Um, I'm not gonna go into too much detail on the trip because I literally, the first time I saw my grandmother after I came back from the trip, I literally spent two hours telling her about each day of the trip, like, and I didn't even finish, so, like, I don't wanna, um, take that long to record today. I wanna try to keep this under half an hour. I know I can talk a lot, but... No, don't go after Zoe. No. The other cat walked on the other side of the camera and Confetti decided that she wanted to chase Zoe. And I'm just like, no, don't, bad. Anyways, um, so it's been, I've been home, I got home the 12th? Was it the 12th? I don't even know. Where's my phone? I don't even know. Like, I, I have, I lost track of time so badly when I was there because, like, we were just, um, it was just crazy. Try, I'm getting a cord for something. Nope, not for that. Where's the other cord? I'm sitting on it. That would be why. That'd be why I can't see it. I'm sitting on it. Good times, right? Um, uh, let's see. Come on, phone. My phone would actually, you know, work. That would be good. So I got back the 17th, and I was supposed to go to work the 18th, and that didn't happen because I got sick. Um, actually, almost the entire bus got sick. Nobody was a happy camper at the end. Even our tour guide got sick. Like, it was one of those trips. Um, but anyways, like I said, I'm not going to talk too much about that. Um, I did get some knitting done on the trip, but like I didn't finish anything. I figured, oh, I'll be on the bus for hours a day. Plenty of knitting time, right? Wrong. Uh, I ended up um, having very little knitting time on the bus, mainly because I was so motion sick. Yeah, apparently Israeli roads do not agree with me. Um, at least like the small side roads. The big highways, like, are totally fine. But, um, but the little side roads, I do tend to get motion sick in vehicles. Um, like when I was still in grade school and I was taking the school bus, I always had to sit in the front because I got sick in the back. Big tour buses here in the U.S., same thing. Got to sit in the front, get sick in the back. Um, I guess I shouldn't have expected anything else in another country. Like it's a big tour bus. It's the same as a big tour bus here. Like, you know, um, a coach bus is a coach bus no matter what continent you're on. So, you know, but, um... I've started a new project, I have one finished project, and then I'm going to show you some progress on another project that I did some progress in Israel, realized I couldn't read my own shorthand, and had to pull back all of the progress I made while I was there. So, you know, that was good. Um, so anyways, I'm going to start with the faux. I finished these socks. These are my Molly Girl socks. It's her baseline base in the Mission Bells colorway. I don't have the, um, I don't have the ball, uh, label. I don't have this label, um, within reach, so I'm just remembering off the top of my head. But so the last time I showed these to you, which was the last time I recorded, I had just finished the second sock. I have now finished the sock. It's actually been a week since I finished these. I finished them, today's a Tuesday. I finished these last Tuesday at my knitting group. I can now take the marker out. I can now take the progress keeper out because I have a finished pair of socks and now I can um, put these on the sock blockers to just kind of give them some shape. But yes, I finished socks, yay. And like all the ends are woven in and everything. So like really finished, which is good because I blew out a pair of socks last week and that now I need to darn. I'm gonna see if I can't convince Kevin to um, 3D print me a, a, a um, darning egg, you know, like the, the egg things that you, yeah, um, those, um, I'm not thinking of the proper word for it because I'm drawing a blank because I just, I can't this morning, apparently. Um, so the project I started was, um, hat, so you guys probably remember, if you've been watching me long enough, you remember the brioche beanie I did a while back. 
Um, my mom liked it and she decided she wanted one so I told her I'd make one. I gave her, I pulled some skeins from Stash that I told her to choose from. Um, they were skeins that I don't have projects for, was just going to use for like plain socks so like I don't mind um, sharing, you know, just like skeins that didn't have any plants. And so she, she chose this one. It looked very different um, in the skein but this is after I've balled it up. And I've started the hat so I've got the brim here. It has to have to do five centimeters of brim and I'm not giving away anything with that because um, it's a free pattern on Ravelry. I'll link it in the show notes. Um, so it's five centimeters of one by one ribbing. Then you start the brioche and then you do 20 centimeters of single color brioche. And then you, um, sorry, I'm trying to get this progress keeper in without catching the stitch worker from my beginning of row marker, um, and then you do the decreases. So if you're wondering what this yarn is, this is from Yarn in the Box. I got this at Nita Spa last year or the year before. Um, it's their Rocky Coast Merino base, and the colorway is called Seal Island. And, um, yeah, uh, so, um, it's 100% uh, it's merino, so I wasn't going to use this for socks. I would planned to make a hat for myself, but I don't mind giving my mom um, this. And it's machine washable. It's super wash merino, so, you know. Um, she can just throw it in the washing machine once I finish it for her. I'm hoping to finish it before the winter's over. But considering it was over 60 degrees yesterday, like, what is going on? It was fi So, first of all, yesterday was Kevin's birthday. We are now the same age again. Because <laughs> I'm two and a half months older than him. Um, which is not a huge age gap. Like, really, that's not an age gap. Um... But his birthday was yesterday, and um, it was literally February 4th, okay, and over 60 degrees in February in New Hampshire. Uh, I don't know how people can say global warming isn't a thing, because global warming is totally a thing. And if you try to tell me global warming isn't a thing, you will be insta-blocked, because I don't even want to deal with it. If you can't acknowledge actual science, we have a problem. And I don't care if I lose followers over that. I subscribe to actual science, not Fox News science. So just FYI, yeah. Um, dream job was to work at NASA someday. So uh, real science here, thank you. Anyways, um, and the project that I had to rip out everything I did in Israel on, and thus it seems like I have made almost no progress, even though I've done like three more repeats, is this shawl that I'm working on. Again, I'm designing this. I had been here I'd done like out to like down here, had to rip it all back because I can't read my own shorthand. It's not that I can't read my own writing because I typed up my notes, but I used abbreviations that I then forgot what the abbreviations meant because I didn't write down what the abbreviations were because I'm making this up as I go. Smart, right? Yeah, no, um, not good. So I had to rip back everything I did in Israel. I've worked some of the way out again, but I really need to finish this. I told Becca, that I was going to try to finish this for um, her first big show of the season, and it looks like that's not going to happen, so I'm going for the second big show, which is in March. So, because she's shipping stuff today for the first big show of the year. This is not going to make it to today, just saying. It's not going to, I'm not going to finish this by this afternoon. So, I feel bad. I'm working on it. I feel guilty. I'm sorry. I need to finish it. As for everything else, um, I haven't started another pair of socks yet because I started the hat and that's a pretty simple project, so that's going to be my purse knitting for a while. Um, this episode's probably going to be pretty, pretty long because I'm going to put all of the pictures at the end, but um, in terms of knitting, there isn't much else going on. If you have any questions about my time in Israel, feel free to ask. I did take video in the hopes that of uploading it and stuff, but then I realized that our tour guide had a very foul mouth and I'm never going to share any of this video, ever. Um, I did do some pieces to camera that I might um, edit in terms of like trimming so that like the beginning and the end aren't like me futzing with the camera. And I might upload those to another YouTube account, but not to this account. I wouldn't upload to Sarah Nova Crafts. I would upload to a different um, different profile because this one I want to keep as just um, just the podcast. So I think that's everything. Honestly, um, there isn't too much knitting wise to talk about. Oh, wait, I forgot something. Um, on Saturday, this past Saturday, and like three days ago, I went to the inaugural Lowell Fiber Fest. It was at Mill 5 in Lowell, really cool space. It's like a little mini mall area on like the fourth floor of an old, old mill building. Um, and uh, it's like a, a 
It was like an apothecary and a used record shop. And when I say used record shop, I mean like actual records, like 72s and 48s and stuff, like actual vinyl. Um, there's some thrift shops. There's, um, there's actually, there's the apothecary. Then there's like another herbalist shop. There's a cute little cafe called Coffee and Cotton. And like, it's really cool. Um, I didn't get too much yarn. I only got two skeins. Um, but uh, I'm just going to reach for them. And uh, I will show them to you. So here they are. Um, I got them from Flying Fin Yarns. I know this is another dyer I know. Her name's Lisa, but here's her info, Flying Fin. Um, it's flyingfinyarns.com. And honestly, I had seen these on Instagram, and I commented, and she's like, they're one of a kind. And I'm just like, okay, I'm going. I need to get these. And I was lucky, because when I got there, things had been going for a while, but these were still in her booth. She wasn't there, unfortunately, because she double booked herself, so another friend... Another knitter I know was helping out in her booth, and um, but they were still there, so I got these skeins. So she called these, uh, it's her Beach Baby Sock Set. It's on her Tango Sock, which is 80% Super Rush Merino, 20% Nylon. It was about 400 yards in the main skein, and then that's a mini. It's about 50 yards in the mini, and this is just a one-of-a-kind colorway. She didn't really give it a name, but that's the information about the yarn. Again, that's her info. But I loved the teal and the blues, and so she had two skeins of it, so I bought both. And I'm totally not going to make socks out of them, but I am thinking a shawl, and with like, and like do like the border in like the accent color. Um, I don't know, I need to make up my mind, but I saw these, felt on her Instagram, fell in love with them, and I was very glad that I was in fact able to snag them on Saturday. I'm very happy. So, um, now I think that's everything. <laughs> um, so... Hopefully I will record next week. Now that I've recorded, I should be recording more regularly again. So much for recording an episode every week this year. Or recording an episode in Israel for that matter. Like, that was not happening. Um, especially because I would, even if I'd recorded an episode in Israel, I never would have been able to upload it because the internet, except for the hotel we stayed in in Jerusalem, the internet was crap the whole time. Like... Like the, like, the hotel internet was crap, right? Like, I had signal on my phone. Phone was working beautifully. No issues there, right? Like, my cell signal was fine. Um, but the, uh, sorry, I'm just putting my switch back in its case because I have a Nintendo Switch. Um, but the hotel internet, well, because we weren't really staying in hotels at first. We stayed in the kibbutz, and they did not have good internet because if enough people got on the Wi-Fi, it kind of died. Hotel in Jerusalem had great internet, and then, um, and then... We were in another random kibbutz for a night, and that internet sucked. I didn't even try. And then um, our last night in Tel Aviv, that had good internet, but I got dragged out for half the night, so like I couldn't have recorded and uploaded if I wanted because I was out at a bar, which is not really my thing. I will say I'm glad I got dragged out by the other people on my trip. It was nice to have one night out because most of the free nights we had, I stayed in. But at the same time, I'm glad I did it. I'm glad I went. I had a wonderful time. If you have any questions about my trip or about my knitting or anything, feel free to drop them below on YouTube or to go to the Ravelry group for the thread for this video. Um, send them to me on Twitter. You can DM me on Ravelry. Like, feel free. If you have any questions, as always, feel free. Like, subscribes, comments on YouTube are all appreciated but not required. They just make me go, yay, somebody watched the video. But, like, really, you don't have to if you don't want to. If you absolutely hate this, even a thumbs down, like, it's fine. I know I rant and I ramble and my cats are running around in the background. This is totally not professional in any stretch of the imagination. I do this more for me than for anything else. But if you do like the video, I would appreciate a thumbs up or even a comment. If you want to subscribe, that's great. But again, don't feel like I'm begging you. This is just like, hey, YouTube metrics. More people might see this if you like it, but really, I don't care. I'm doing this for me. I don't even have 200 followers right now, so, you know. <laughs> and to those of you that follow me, thank you for watching. I really appreciate every single one of you. Like, I'm not saying this to be, like, joking or anything. It's just, I do this for me. And thank you for for watching what I do for me. This It's a way to hold myself accountable with my knitting. It's a way to keep track of what I do, to have a record of the projects and the course they take. And um, just... Yes, thank you for watching, and hopefully I will see you next week. Bye!
just look at 